Hi, my name is Titanic Sinclair, and I'm one of the most famous directors uh, on the internet. You may know me for the work that I make uh, with an artist named Poppy. Now, a lot of people uh, have accused me of being a cult leader, and that is not true. What an interesting and remarkable question that no one's ever asked me before. What do you think about Jake Paul? I don't know who that is. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, the Indian guy from your local gas station here. You know, the one you forgot to say thank you to when I pumped your gas, and then again when I pumped your mother? That's right, call me daddy. Today, I'm going to be talking about Poppy, formerly known as That Poppy. She was a musical artist known for making exotic and unique videos with her manager, Titanic Sinclair. However, it was later revealed Titanic was toxic and sculpted her image based on his ex-girlfriend, Mars Argo. This is the rise and fall of Poppy. Oh, and by fall, I'm referring to the voluntary dissipation of the character into a new one. It's not meant to be negative in any way. Before I get into the video, I just want to thank today's sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Through the company, you can buy as little as one square foot of land and earn the right to be called a lord or lady. With established titles, you will get a certificate proving your title as well as a unique plot number that allows you to see the exact location of your land. The certificate even includes a cool looking official crest. In fact, mine is right behind me on my bookshelf. As a lord or lady, you can actually officially change your name to reflect that and put it on your credit card, plane tickets, and more. It makes for a funny conversation starter and it's also something you can put on your Tinder profile. Just imagine if your future partner had to refer to you as a lord or lady. I mean, mine actually did even before established titles, but hey, at least now it's certified. In addition, established titles also plants a tree with every order to protect the woodlands of Scotland. The company also supports global charities like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to help with afforestation efforts. It's an amazing gift for virtually anyone, even if it's last minute. Established Titles is having a great limited time sale, so go to establishedtitles.com slash aj to save 10% off today. Remember to use the discount code aj or just click the link below. That's establishedtitles.com slash aj or click the link below. Now back to the video. Poppy's real name is Mariah Rose Pereira and she was born in Boston, Massachusetts, but raised in Nashville, Tennessee. As a child, Mariah was bullied for being quiet and weird. In a later interview, she stated she used music as an escape from reality. I don't really know what normal, normal is. Like, I don't, I don't know what it's like to be normal. I don't think. Maybe I do. Maybe I was when I was really young. I was born in Boston and when I was 13 I moved to Nashville. I was made fun of a lot in school for like being this like quiet kind of nerdy kid, but like kind of weird. Um, so that like made people pay attention to me in kind of like a negative way. Uh, music definitely worked as an escape. Growing up, Mariah often uploaded covers of songs to YouTube. She had a natural talent for singing and was even asked to perform at Playlist Live. Pursuing a career in music, she eventually moved to Los Angeles in 2013. While there, she met Titanic Sinclair, aka Corey Mixter, through a mutual friend. Unfortunately, Titanic, much like the infamous ship before him, would sink everything as low as possible. But more on that later. In 2014, Titanic and Poppy were inseparable. The two collaborated on multiple projects and eventually started dating. This was when Mariah changed dramatically and became the Poppy that most of us recognize today. She dyed her hair platinum blonde, adopted a robotic personality, and often stared blankly into space. Notably, the pair deleted any remnants of Mariah's past, including old videos featuring her native southern accent and natural brown hair. As Poppy, she posted odd, highly produced short videos directed by Sinclair that were intended to satirize the music industry. They often had no context other than random titles and were quite shocking. Hi, I'm Poppy. In this video, I'm showing you how to load a gun. First, you need to put a bullet inside of this thing. Today, we are using hollow point bullets. Next you put this thing in here. Then press this button. And now this gun is loaded. I like this gun because of the way it looks. In addition, Poppy constantly wore many eye-grabbing outfits, referenced the devil, and repeated baffling words. And well, some videos were just straight up creepy like this one where Titanic can be seen in the reflection of Poppy's glasses. I love my sunglasses. I love my sunglasses. I love my sunglasses so much. My favorite thing about my sunglasses 
is they allow me to see things that aren't usually there. Overall, the strategy of capturing the audience's attention and forcing intrigue upon them was highly successful. The videos were arguably art pieces which just added to their validity. Many people wondered who made these visually striking pieces, why they were making them, and shared the buzz with their friends. Perhaps the most famous of them was called Um Poppy and was uploaded on January 6, 2015. And it's probably the reason you know of her or clicked on this video. I'm Poppy was 10 minutes and 1 second long and featured Mariah saying the words I'm Poppy over and over again. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy, I'm Poppy, I'm Poppy, I'm Poppy, I am Poppy, I'm Poppy. It instantly went viral and even PewDiePie reacted to it. Over the years, Poppy's channel amassed millions of subscribers and garnered a significant viewership. Naturally, this led to many people taking an interest in her and requesting interviews. She repeatedly spoke in the third person and acted like an extension of her videos. So when you woke up today, how'd your day start? First, they told me to get dressed. They? And then they washed my hair. Okay. Who's they? And then they told me how good Three Musketeers bars are. <laughs> they well, are good. Why do you like Three Musketeers? Because there's three of them. In addition, she avoided talking as much as possible and let Titanic speak for her. Can you tell us to give us a little sneak preview? or? Um, it's very vibrant. Very vibrant, mm -hmm. the sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, very dancey. Mm -hmm. Once Sinclair even referred to himself as Poppy's technician. What, what's going on? What's the deal here? What's, what's, what's happening? I'm just making sure she doesn't malfunction. She doesn't malfunction? Mm. What you mean? Um, I'm like a technician, and so I make things, uh, make sure things run smoothly. What, so you like a probation officer? <laughs> <laughs> Due to this odd power dynamic, Titanic was commonly known as the puppet master of the duo. Eventually though, several cracks began to surface. For example, in one video, you can visibly see Poppy holding back a smile after seeing one of the cute kids. <laughs> we good. Oh it was almost like she was trapped in a prison and forced to do Sinclair's bidding. And well, in April 2018, the hammer dropped when Titanic's ex-girlfriend Mars Argo filed a lawsuit stating that Poppy copied her likeness and brand. It specifically mentioned that Mariah dyed her hair platinum blonde and altered her voice to mimic hers. At first, the claims seemed outlandish, but upon closer inspection, they were nearly impossible to ignore. The type of music, physical appearance, and quirkiness the two displayed were almost exactly the same. For example, they wore an identical outfit in one scene and both had blood in their mouths in another. On top of all that, the pair even had a video with the same exact title, Delete Your Facebook. To make matters worse, Mars also accused Titanic of and requested a restraining order. Soon, fans realized that Mars was Sinclair's first project and that Poppy was merely an attempt to recreate his muse. In response to the accusations, Poppy flat out denied everything and instead said that Mars's current boyfriend, Josh Morin, who was once friends with Titanic, actually a her. In addition, she posted a video of Morin beating the living shit out of Sinclair. I had to do some digging to find the context of the video, but luckily I found an explanation in a Reddit post Titanic made in r slash legal advice. I shit you not, he actually went to Reddit for counsel. I make videos for a living and a management company I often work with hired me to make three videos for one of their artists for a flat fee. Two out of the three were completed and the artist's manager told me to hold off on finishing the third because the artist was unstable and they didn't know if he would remain with their team. I agree with his management and they have me on a retainer to complete the third video when they find the time appropriate. The artist and I remain friends and I shoot five more days of footage with him in the recording studios he was working out of. He moves out of state on a whim after being caught cheating on his girlfriend and a group of friends and I all receive death threats for hanging out with the girl he cheated on. A few months later I start receiving threatening emails and texts about the money I owe him. He has his business manager contact me about this and I respond asking why he is asking for money that belongs to his management and if he is going to pay me for the five days of work I did for him. No response. Fast forward a couple of weeks and in come the death threats. I don't think anything of it, everyone I know who knows him understands how nuts he is. So I get a text yesterday to come outside and settle unfinished business. He is visibly shaking and sounds like he is about to cry when he talked. I extended my hand to shake his and he lifted both of his up to his head saying nah man it isn't like that. I offer him a seat and ask him what the situation is. 
He accuses me of owing him money, which I explain is not true. He accuses me of ripping off his idea for a video I wrote and directed, and I show him examples from 2007 and 2012 where I did the same video effects as the one I did for him in 2014 that he never used and told his management and my friends he hated. And he finally says, so you're going to look me in the eyes and say you don't owe me anything? I told him after he threatened the lives of my friends as well as mine, I don't owe him anything. And he just snapped. Next thing I know, I smashed through the lawn chair I was sitting in after he sucker punched me and I'm doing everything I can to get the 6 foot 3 monster off of me. He ran away and I called the police, file a report, etc. The neighbors saw it go down and called 9 911 as well. So apparently Titanic defaulted on a video he was supposed to make and was also accused of ripping off one of Morin's ideas. Poppy and Sinclair then requested a restraining order against him but it was later denied. In December 2018, Mariah found herself in drama with the musician Grimes. It all started when the pair collaborated on two songs, Play Destroy and We Appreciate Power. But after the drama with Argo, Grimes wanted the two songs pulled, but Poppy put her on Play Destroy and released it anyways. She also removed Grimes' name from the producer credits. When Grimes got upset about this, Poppy just accused her team of bullying her. Uh, well, I dislike Poppy because she said a bunch of mean stuff in the press about me that isn't true and leaked a song that I made, like, that she barely worked on, that I did a ton of work on with Chris Grady, and then took my name off the producer credits everywhere. So, I don't know. I don't know what her deal is. She's... I, anyway, over it. Sadly, they ended up cutting ties and moving on. In December 2019, Argo's lawsuit was finally settled out of court by all parties. As of today, the exact settlement terms aren't public knowledge. Luckily, however, the saga that shocked nearly everyone had come to a resounding close, and the legal battle had undeniably taken its toll. On December 28, 2019, Mariah revealed that she and Titanic had split up in a Facebook post. It said, To whom it may concern, I grappled with the thought of making this statement, but I decided to do this to set the record straight. As some of you may know, my former creative partner and I have parted ways. This was a long time coming, but this is a person whom I defended in the past because I thought he was just misunderstood. The reason I'm making this statement is due to the amount of misinformation online about me and my character and I owe it to myself to clear a few things up. I met this person at a young age and things were seemingly good for a while until echoes from his past were too loud to ignore. I was never an accomplice to this person's past actions like some believe. I was a person who suffered similar wrongdoings as one of his former partners brought to light. This person glamorizes and has used it many times in the past to manipulate me. And the last time I finally had enough. After half a decade, the two parted ways and Mariah was no longer Sinclair's pawn. Moving forward, she decided to keep the original Poppy YouTube channel but changed her musical style. She incorporated more heavy metal and rock and also dyed her hair black. In addition, Poppy posted a multitude of makeup tutorials which were apparently a shot at her ex for criticizing her appearance. In January 2020, the YouTuber Edwin's Generation posted an interview with Titanic's brother who claimed Poppy benefited from the narrative that her ex was a manipulator. In addition, he was upset she publicly discussed the attempt. That kind of private detail would, you know, trigger a family member to speak up, even if the family member has a pretty bad reputation. The thing that I noticed about it was that uh, it helped her case. Uh, this new character that she's adopting, this person who's breaking free of, you know, the industry shackles and this, you know, like abusive partner. Um, with everything that she's previously said about any of this stuff and the fact that now she's just taking Britney's side and saying like, oh yeah, I actually went through the same thing. I think that she definitely realized what she could ride on by making this type of announcement. I think that's why it took her so long to do it and I think that's why it was so close to the release of her new album. Um, I think it was a very calculated move. Right, because the attempt was in October, correct? Yeah, yeah, it was and, in October. And she happened to say this less than two weeks before her new album release. Mm -hmm. Regardless of whether it was true or not, it certainly added perspective. Ultimately, the story of the original Poppy character was a very astounding rise and fall. She went from a recreation of Sinclair's ex who was manipulated for years to rebranding herself and taking control. And in June 2020, Poppy announced she was engaged to the musician Ghost Mane, who was also featured on her channel. In an interview in October 2021, I noticed she still kept her android-like personality and voice. This one makes me very happy to listen to because I feel understood by her. Um, my favorite song is You Don't Own Me and it is about not being owned by a male but in a very triumphant way and it's a song that my band and I were rehearsing covering because it means so much to me. Personally, I wish Mariah the best in her future career. She went through a lot and was able to overcome everything and now makes the music she wants to make. Hopefully Poppy continues to flourish for years to come. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving me a like and subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out. Oh, and feel free to follow me on Twitter or Instagram at internetaj. See you next week.